Hello, I'm Skelton and in this video I'm going to show you a front-end that I'm using uh, lately it's a front-end based on Retrofe which, which is a front-end uh, quite similar to Hyperspin, Attack Mode and many uh, many others but it's basically uh, those probably you already know the front-end this is CoinOps for Open Worlds uh, for those who have a, a first Xbox, uh, Xbox model is is uh, a widely uh, known uh, front end for for that system, and now they are releasing uh, front end for PCs and Windows. So uh, basically, I want to test uh, one of these. It, it, it doesn't include a lot of games. It have it comes in different formats. For example, uh, the first one or the one I already have here is the Forgotten Wars uh, 3, the Gems Plus or Gems Plus. Sorry which is basically includes more games that uh, the one that is called only gems and there will be another uh, version of it uh, which, which will probably be called uh, three gems packed which include uh, even more systems more roms more games for the different systems etc so basically this is a, a front end which is basically, basically is very simple to use it has uh, several configurations but, but practically is, is plug and play you can use it in a lot of systems in fact uh, although I, I'm using right now my my main PC I'm using in my GPD Win 2 and all the games run pretty nice on it and basically for example if you have uh, or if you want to change different configs for the front end it's very easy to do because you, ju you just have to run a bad file for example here in advanced configs for example, if you have a modern system that uh, have a Windows of 64-bit, I, I suggest that you run the 64-bit MAME version because it runs faster than the 32-bit MAME. And basically, here you have different options for the basically the visualization of all the front end. If you want a scan, a scan line, sorry, if you want bezels behind our screen curvature uh, different uh, modes of uh, graphic display and also different ways of showing the list of the game for example you can show it in horizontal style or the wheel which is basically like attract mode so basically you can just need to run one of these files and the settings will be changed so it's, it's pretty simple also about controllers it's, it's configured by default to use with uh, X input controllers so it's basically very simple to to use but you can uh, change or you can use another different uh, game pads if you had uh, I don't know a dual shock or any other kind of game pad uh, for for your system and basically that's it for example if you want to run it I just have to run the exe file and as you can see here we have different sections for example we have a favorite this is, section is called favorite and what the the maker of the of this uh, front end has made uh, as her favorite games if, if i pressed uh, the pad right well, i have a different console classics if i want to enter a system or a game i just have to press the a button and we have the game here. In this case, I think I'm, he's using Project 64, which is not uh, an MY I pretty much like. So, basically, as you can see here, you have a selection of different games from different consoles of the era. For example, Alien Shoulder from Mega Drive, Alien vs Predator, Alicia Dragon also from Mega Drive, basically, Axel Eye from the, the Super NES. Basically, you have many different uh, games, uh, a selection of games for different systems. For example, Old School is basically two very old Meme games, basically games for the 80s. And you can see here you have Arcanoid, Asteroids, basically games that I, as you can see, they are quite old, basically from, from that era. Some not that old because Chase HQ is not that old, but generally old games.
If you want, for example, another category, you have a run and gun games. You have a different selection of, of games here. As you can see, each game has its, its own vessel, its own image to show it, etc. Beating apps, okay, beating apps, well, it's basically a selection of games that you probably all already know. Basically, most games are will be MAME games. I, I think that this kind of game doesn't need a presentation. So as you can see, there is a, a quite good selection of different games, different beaten apps, most of the classics, some even not uh, so known like Nets of Valor, which is a PGM game, the Polygame Master Award. So basically, that's about it. Also, we have a, a an option or a configuration with each the Fight Club which is basically fighting games. In my case, this is personally the, the one I use most because I am a huge fan of fighting games and you have a great selection here of most of the classic uh, 2D fighting games of the, of the era. Have in mind that this uh, kind of compilation is made for use on low-end and even mid-end PCs, not for high-end PCs, so most of the games will be mainly classics and not very modern games. But it's quite nice. Maybe you have you can see Tyler Instinct for example, etc. Okay and, and another selection well you have a, a also a selection of shooting apps with many classic games, but some vertical games, some even modern games, for, for example Akai Katana which is which was a game for the Xbox uh, 360 and it was recently emulated in, in MAME. That's Rider, Batsum, Battle of Craig. Basically, you have a lot of classics here from this genre. The Smiles, which is also a, a very good name by Cape. The Apache games. Yeah. You can see most of the classics are here. This is why I personally I like this compilation because. Probably it, it includes most, more of the game or most arcade games that I use to play mostly. So it's quite easy for me. It's just plug and play. You can just copy all the compilation to a, a thumb drive, to an SD card, and and just uh, use it in any PC you want, and you're ready to play. Uh, it's way way I like about this compilation. Then you have also the Capcom classics, which is basically a a mix of Capcom games, basically, most of the of games that you know for, for Capcom, most of them will be of the CPS motherboards, arcade boards, some of them even older, but basically about it. And also, of course, a Neo Geo collection, which is also a classical in arcade games, so you can see basically you have a nice selection of New Geo games, not all of them of course, because as I see this is a compilation that is not uh, too big in size and the main purpose is to include the main titles of the of the game. For example if we include Iron Club, which is a game that that is not uh, so known. So I don't know, I'm going just to, to test uh, some game. For example, I don't know I'm since I like fighting games, I don't know, maybe Ky Kyler Instinct 2, for example. This is emulated on the MAME. As you can see, this is the. Well, this is basically what I have selected with the vessels at, at both sides of the screen with some CRT effect. There are many options, as you can see, and as you, as you saw before, in the bad config option. So, and basically that's it, it's quite simple to use. And I don't know, it's been ages since I played this game, so we will probably...
well, as you can see there is a lot of time that I, I play this game, so basically it's probably, this is not gonna end very well for me, but I hope it will be a not very ridiculous gameplay. Okay, now for example, if you want to change your game, or if you want to go back to the menu, you have several options. You can press uh, just the escape button on your keyboard, or if you are, or you don't want to use the, your game or your keyboard, or you just press select and start, and you go back. And it's quite simple. As you can see, it's quite simple to use. I will. I don't. Uh, I cannot put the, the link uh, to the download of this concrete pack. But I will uh, put a link in the description below. You will see a link of the Discord channel, the Discord channel that the, that this uh, that the CoinOps project uh, people is is always there, and you can also make suggestions to them for new versions uh, and so on and so far. So basically, as you can see, it's a quite simple uh, front end, very simple because it's just plug and play. You can use it. Of course, there are also many, also many uh, different uh, frontends that can be used on PC. This is not the best, or this is not the worst. This is just uh, based on, on different tastes. For example, for the GPD Win, I suggest uh, the frontends of the Attract Mode uh, frontends that are uh, pre-configured for the GPD Win for from my Spanish friend in Pocho and Poch. And I will also put a link in, in the description below for this channel uh, because he has a, a good very selection of front ends with different systems, with different arcade systems, console systems, etc. So this is basically very focused on arcade systems. And in fact, as you can see, there is no a lot of uh, many uh, console games, but. It's okay, for me it's okay because I mainly use it for arcade games, so I, I mainly use RetroArch for that, but uh, from time to time if you just want some something to plug and play from, from one computer to another, this kind of compilation is quite good for me because I just copy all the content or all the, for the, all the folder to it and, and that's it. And as you can see it's basically this folder, as you can see, as I'm running from a USB drive, from a USB thumb drive, so I just can uh, take this uh, thumb drive, plug it in my GPD Win 2, and play exactly as I have it right now. Um, it's quite si very simple to use, and I, I suggest it, and um, I think it's, it's, it's quite nice. So basically, I will leave uh, the, the, the Discord. Uh, channel in the description below so you can get more info about the coinops project you probably know about already know about it but uh, well uh, i think that is kind, kind of interesting and i hope that that well i can it can be uh, quite interesting for you so basically with that uh, i i hope you enjoy the following video i you have some suggestion or want some suggestion or some tutorial about uh, one kind of emulator etc you can please send me some feedback in the comments and that's it thanks for watching